These are the video notes for section 7.4, finding the LCD for rational expressions. In the following screenshot, you will see the steps necessary to find the LCD. Please pause the video and take a look at these steps. In our first example, we have 1 over x and 1 over x squared. The LCD between two monomials, if they have the same base, is the monomial with the highest exponent. So x squared will be the LCD. In our second example, we have to factor the denominators. We're going to factor out the GCF, which is 4. Factor the GCF here, which is 3. We're going to compare the numbers 4 and 3. The LCD between 4 and 3 is 12. Since this binomial is not in the other denominator, it automatically goes in the LCD and vice versa. Because this binomial is not in the other denominator, we're also going to include it as part of the LCD. In our next example, we have a monomial denominator and a binomial. What we're going to do is the monomial, since it's not in the other denominator, it automatically goes in the LCD. And same thing for the binomial. Since this binomial is not in this denominator, it automatically goes in the LCD. In our last example, we have to factor as we did in example 2. We're going to factor out the GCF, which is x. Then we're going to factor the basic trinomial. We have a monomial here, x, and there's no monomial here, so we're going to automatically include it in part of the LCD. These two binomials are the same, so we're going to keep that binomial with the highest exponent. It's raised to the first power. And then our last part, this, this binomial, x minus 2, is not in this fraction, so it automatically goes as part of the LCD. In our last example, we're going to compare the two numbers, 6 and 12. We're going to find the LCD between that, which is 12. Then I have x squared and x. We're going to take the highest exponent, so it's x squared. For y and y cubed, we're also going to take the highest exponent. And for this denominator, because there is the variable z and the other one doesn't have the variable z, this automatically goes into our LCD. In the second part of the notes for section 7.4, we will be going over how to rewrite a fraction as an equivalent fraction with the LCD. In the first step we have is to set each fraction equal to a fraction with the LCD in the denominator. Then we're going to find the factor that would multiply the original denominator to get the LCD. Then lastly, we're going to multiply the original numerator by the factor in step 2. So if we take a look at our first example from before, we, the LCD was x squared. So in order to write these two fractions as an equivalent fraction with the LCD as x squared, we're going to set each one of them equal to a fraction with the LCD in the denominator. Then we're going to ask ourselves, what times x would give me an x squared? That would be x. So we're going to multiply the numerator by that same factor, 1 times x is x. And so x over x squared is the equivalent fraction of 1 over x, where x squared is our least common denominator. We're going to do the same thing for 1 over x squared. x squared times what would give us an x squared? The answer is 1. So we're going to multiply the numerator by 1. So this is the other equivalent fraction with the LCD in the denominator. In our next example, we're going to take our example 2 from before. The LCD was 12 times the quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x plus 9. We're going to write these as equivalent fractions with that as the common denominator. So I'm going to write the common denominator for both. If you notice, I did not write 4x plus 12 in the denominator. I wrote the factored form so that's easier to see what multiplies by this factor to get this product. So 4 times 3 would get me a 12, so I know I'm going to multiply by 3. There's already an x plus 3, so we're multiplying that by 1. And then we also need an x plus 9. So 3 times x plus 9 is what we're going to multiply the numerator by, which is 3x plus 27 when you distribute the numerator. So this is your equivalent fraction. In our next part, 
we're going to multiply this by 4 because 3 times 4 is 12. They both have an x plus 9, so we're multiplying that by 1. And we need to multiply it by x plus 3. So we're going to multiply the numerator by 4 times x plus 3. And you get 4x plus 12 when you distribute the 4. So that is our equivalent fractions with the common denominator. In our next example, we're going to set this equal to the LCD in the denominator. Then we're going to multiply this factor by x plus 1 to get the LCD. So we're going to multiply the numerator by x plus 1 as well. And 1 times x plus 1 is x plus 1. And then in this example, we're going to multiply this x plus 1 by x to get the common denominator. So we're going to multiply the numerator by x as well. 1 times x is x. In this next example, we did not do this before, so we're going to start by finding out what the LCD is by factoring this denominator. We're going to factor out a 3. And we get 3 times 3x minus 1. Now we're going to compare the monomials. The LCD between 3 and 3 is 3. The LCD between this x and there is no variable here, so it automatically goes into the LCD. Then I have this binomial 3x minus 1, comparing it to no binomial over there. It also gets included as part of your LCD. Pretty much what happens is um, if a denominator has something that the other one doesn't, it automatically goes in the LCD. Also, you might notice that if you have the same monomial or same binomial, the binomial comes over with the highest exponent, as we've seen in the other examples. Now, we're going to write them as equivalent fractions. So I'm going to write the original fractions. Um, and then for the second one, I'm going to write the denominator in the factored form, followed by the LCD in the denominator. Now we're going to ask ourselves, what times this would give me this LCD? That would be 3x minus 1. So I'm going to multiply the numerator by 3x minus 1. Since this is a binomial times a binomial, what we should do is do side work to figure out what x minus 3 times 3x minus 1 is. And that equals 3x squared minus x minus 9x plus 3. And then when we combine like terms, we'll get 3x squared minus 10x plus 3. So the equivalent fraction in the numerator, we would have 3x squared minus 10x plus 3. In this last part here, we're going to multiply x by this denominator to get the LCD. So we're going to multiply by x. And x times x is x squared. And then this is your equivalent fraction.